From the fiery failures to groundbreaking innovations, SpaceX's journey with Starship has been nothing short of revolutionary. At the heart of this ambitious spacecraft lies one of engineering's greatest challenges, the heat shield. While NASA's space shuttle relied on over 24,000 unique ceramic tiles that required months of painstaking maintenance, SpaceX is boldly venturing into uncharted territory with an entirely new approach, metallic heat shields. Picture this, as Starship pierces through Earth's atmosphere, temperatures soar to levels that would melt most metals instantly. This is where SpaceX's innovative spirit truly shines. Through rigorous testing and cutting edge engineering, they're not just improving space travel, they're completely reimagining how we protect spacecraft from the intense heat of re-entry. From aluminum coated shields that dramatically failed in Flight 5 to the fascinating oxidation patterns observed in Flight 6, each test has brought us closer to cracking the code of reusable spacecraft technology. The stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't just about building better heat shields. It's about making Mars colonization a reality. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest innovations reshaping humanity's future in space. Let's dive right in. The evolution of Starship's heat shield technology is more than just an engineering milestone. It's a story of human perseverance that began in a small testing facility in Texas. Late one night, as SpaceX engineers huddled around their monitors, they witnessed something that would change the course of spacecraft design forever. While the rest of the world slept, their experimental metallic heat shield underwent its first extreme temperature test, pushing the boundaries of what many thought possible. The aerospace community had long accepted ceramic tiles as the gold standard. NASA's space shuttle program stood as a testament to their effectiveness, but also their limitations. Each tile, precisely crafted and irreplaceable, told a story of painstaking maintenance and countless hours of inspection. SpaceX's engineers knew there had to be a better way. Enter Flight 5, a mission that would either validate years of research or send them back to the drawing board. As Starship climbed through the atmosphere that morning, the tension in mission control was palpable. The aluminum-coated heat shields gleaming in the morning sun represented countless hours of innovation and dedication. But space exploration has always had a way of humbling even the most brilliant minds. As Starship began its descent, Thermal cameras captured a sight that made everyone's heart sink. The aluminum coating, their hoped-for solution, began to surrender to the merciless heat of re-entry. The stainless steel hull beneath transformed into a kaleidoscope of colors. Beautiful, but a clear sign that their design needed rethinking. Yet in this apparent failure lay an unexpected discovery that would revolutionize their approach. The team noticed something remarkable in the data streaming back to Earth. The 304L stainless steel underneath wasn't just surviving, it was adapting. Like a living organism, the material was forming its own protective barrier through oxidation. This revelation sparked a series of intense late-night discussions and breakthrough innovations that would reshape their entire approach to thermal protection. The testing process itself became increasingly sophisticated. SpaceX developed a network of microscopic sensors embedded within the heat shield providing real-time data about thermal stress and material behavior. This innovation allowed them to detect and respond to potential issues before they became critical problems. During one test flight, this system identified and compensated for a thermal anomaly so quickly that most observers didn't even realize anything had happened. As the program progressed, the implications reached far beyond just Starship. The same technology that protected spacecraft during re-entry could potentially revolutionize hypersonic travel on Earth. Early calculations suggested that modified versions of these heat shields could make New York to Shanghai flights possible in under an hour. The team began receiving inquiries from commercial aviation companies, seeing the potential for a new era of Earth-based travel. The most exciting applications, however, remained focused on Mars. The team ran countless simulations of Martian atmospheric entry, each one bringing new challenges and opportunities. They discovered that the unique composition of Mars' atmosphere actually worked in their favor. The lower density meant less thermal stress on the heat shield, but required precise timing during the entry phase. One unexpected challenge came from Martian dust. Simulations showed that during landing and takeoff, 
the heat shield would need to withstand not just temperature extremes, but also the abrasive effects of high-velocity dust particles. This led to the development of a new coating technology that could self-heal minor abrasions, ensuring the heat shield's integrity over multiple Mars missions. The program has now entered a new phase of testing, with each flight bringing us closer to regular Mars missions. Recent tests have shown promising results with an enhanced version of the methane cooling system that can adjust its flow patterns in real time based on thermal imaging data. This advancement means that Starship can now respond to re-entry conditions dynamically, much like how a living organism adapts to environmental changes. Looking ahead, the team is already working on next-generation improvements. They're exploring the use of advanced AI systems to predict and respond to thermal conditions before they become critical. Early prototypes have shown the ability to anticipate heat shield stress patterns seconds before they occur, potentially making the difference between a successful mission and a failure. This journey of innovation continues to inspire new generations of engineers and scientists. What started as a challenge to improve upon existing heat shield technology has evolved into a complete reimagining of how we approach spacecraft protection. Each breakthrough brings us one step closer to making regular interplanetary travel a reality, proving that sometimes the most significant advances come not from accepting established wisdom, but from daring to question it. As we look toward the future of space travel, SpaceX's revolutionary approach to heat shield technology stands as a testament to human ingenuity. From the dramatic transformation of aluminum-coated shields to the groundbreaking use of methane cooling systems, each innovation brings us closer to making Mars colonization a reality. Through countless tests, failures, and breakthroughs, SpaceX has proven that the path to the stars requires not just advanced technology, but the courage to reimagine what's possible. The journey continues and you can be part of this historic transformation. Join our growing community of space enthusiasts who want to witness humanity's next giant leap. Hit the like button if you found this deep dive into SpaceX's heat shield technology fascinating. Share this video with friends who dream of a future where interplanetary travel is commonplace. What are your thoughts on SpaceX's innovative approach to heat shield design? Drop a comment below. We love hearing your insights and perspectives on space technology. Subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments in space exploration. Your support helps us continue bringing you in-depth coverage of SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your mind on the future. This is Elon Musk 24 hours where innovation meets exploration. When Elon Musk first announced plans to build the largest rocket in human history, skeptics said it would take decades. SpaceX proved them wrong. Not only did they get Starship off the ground in just a few years, but they've now achieved something remarkable, launching two successful flights just one month apart. Flight 6 shattered records and demonstrated SpaceX's relentless pace of innovation. Now as we prepare for Flight 7, NASA has just revealed the official launch date that could mark the next giant leap in spacecraft development. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your source for the latest breakthrough developments in space exploration. Let's dive right in. In the wake of Flight 6, the atmosphere at SpaceX's Starbase was electric. Engineers huddled around monitors, analyzing data from what appeared to be both a triumph and a wake-up call. While celebration filled the air after achieving the fastest turnaround between flights in Starship's history, a deeper story was unfolding behind the scenes. The Super Heavy Booster's return phase revealed the first dramatic twist. As millions watched live, the massive rocket, taller than the Statue of Liberty, began its descent toward the Gulf of Mexico rather than attempting the planned tower catch. In mission control, a tense silence fell as controllers detected a critical communication misalignment between the booster and launch tower systems. Years of preparation had led to this moment, and now they faced a split-second decision that would echo through the program's future. Flight control, switching to contingency protocol alpha, came the calm voice over the comm system. The booster executed a perfect splashdown, creating a spectacular water landing that, while safe, 
highlighted the razor-thin margins between success and failure in space exploration. In the following days, as teams retrieved data recorders from the Gulf, they discovered something unexpected. The communication issue stemmed from a previously unknown interaction between the tower's advanced guidance systems and the Gulf Coast's unique weather patterns. The drama didn't end there. The Starship upper stage, carrying the hopes of future Mars missions, completed its primary objectives flawlessly. As it began its descent toward the Indian Ocean, everything seemed nominal. Then in a heart-stopping moment, radar contact was lost. When visual confirmation finally came through, the spacecraft had exploded on impact. A reminder of the brutal physics involved in bringing a vehicle of this size back from orbital velocities. But at SpaceX, setbacks fuel innovation. Deep within the company's development facilities, a revolutionary response was already taking shape. Starship version two. Engineers worked through countless nights driven by Elon Musk's ambitious vision and the lessons learned from each flight. The new design wasn't just an upgrade, it represented a fundamental rethinking of how a spacecraft this massive could be made truly reusable. The heart of this transformation lies in its heat shield system. Traditional tiles, while effective, couldn't meet the extreme demands of Starship's mission profile. SpaceX's material science team, after months of secretive development, created something extraordinary, a new generation of thermal protection tiles that could withstand temperatures exceeding those at the surface of the sun. Each tile underwent testing that simulated the harshest conditions imaginable, from extreme temperature cycling to hypervelocity impact resistance. NASA's announcement of the January 11, 2025 launch date for Flight 7 sent ripples through the space community but behind this date lies an untold story of preparation and innovation. Ship 33, the V-2 prototype, emerged from SpaceX's assembly bay in a record-breaking 41 days, a feat that had veterans of the space industry questioning their long-held assumptions about spacecraft manufacturing. The decision between boosters 14 and 15 has become more than just a technical choice. It represents two competing philosophies about the future of space exploration. Booster 14, battle-tested and ready for static fire testing, embodies the fly-early, fly-often approach that has served SpaceX well. Booster 15, still under development, promises to push the boundaries of what's possible with its advanced systems and closer alignment to the V2 vision. The real revolution, however, becomes clear when examining the Raptor engine evolution. The projected thrust of 8,240 tons isn't just a number, it represents enough power to lift the equivalent of four and a half Eiffel Towers off the ground. The Raptor 3 engines, necessary for achieving this unprecedented power, required solving engineering challenges that many considered impossible just years ago. Each engine component undergoes testing that would destroy lesser machines, ensuring reliability in the harshest conditions space can offer. Meanwhile, the Falcon 9's journey to its 400th flight tells an equally compelling story of persistence and innovation. On that historic November day, as 